Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to understand the concept of the image well theory. So this basically concept of image well theory basically arrives from the concept of the aquifer. Whenever we are studying about the aquifer, then uh, there is a concept of this image well. So, so let us try to understand what is the concept of the image well. So the generation of this concept basically starts from the theory of the drawdown curve. So as we know that in the theory of the drawdown curve, whenever there is a heavy pumping of the water, then there will be the drawdown curve that will be originated around the pump. But such type of drawdown curve, whatever forms during the heavy pumping of the water, the whatever the shape of that drawdown curve is there, that is adversely affected by the presence of any uh, permeable source of the water or uh, due to the presence of any uh, impermeable surface. So whenever these types of boundaries gets around these types of aquifer, then the shape of this aqui uh, drawdown curve is highly inf influ gets influenced by these presences. So in this video, we will try to understand how we can use the uh, method of the superposition in order to uh, get a proper shape of this uh, drawdown curve. So now let's see. So as you can see in this particular diagram, in the presence of the impermeable surface. So in this case, as you can see here that there is a presence of here an impermeable surface. So in this case, so in this case, as you can see here that there is this presence of this impermeable surface. So whenever we are trying to just have a drawdown curve of these types of uh, drawdown these types of the wells then due to the presence of these types of uh, impermeable surface the drawdown curve of these types of well gets uh, adversely affected so if there if there is any presence of these types of impermeable surface or there could be a presence of a barrier like these types of water sources or perennial source of the water. So it could be either this impermeable surface or this perennial source of the water. So in either of the cases, the whatever the drawdown curve that will get formed in this types of uh, um, in this type of cases will get affected by this presence of the boundaries. So in this case, uh, we have to just go and have a different type of uh, drawdown curve, and that principle of superposition have will help you to have a image curve. So in this case, let's see that how we can just go and draw a image of well in this case. So let this is the case of this. This is the first case. In this first case, as you can see here that uh, this is the first uh, well over here that is the rechargeable well. Or you can say here that in this well, there is a heavy drawdown of the water. So this is basically our discharging well. From this well, you can see here that we are taking out the water from this well. So this dotted line, as you can see here, that this indicates the initial uh, drawdown curve. And this uh, dark line shows the final drawdown curve. So now let's see how we can draw these types of uh, drawdown curve by using the superposition principle. So in this case, at first, we need to have certain uh, certain assumptions like that if uh, there if the distance between this impermeable surface and this well if that distance is uh, given by x1 so we need to assume a certain recharging well which is at a distance of x1 from this particular place and at that particular place we will assume that our discharge well is lying so if you say see this case then at a distance of x1 as you can see here at a distance of x1 we have imagined uh, our um, uh, well over here that is an image well over here so as you can see here that this is your uh, at the center we are having the physical barrier and this is and that was the initial dotted line which is showing the uh, drawdown curve and similarly since that is an image well so this image will will well will also form a similar type of a drawdown curve and at the center both of these drawdown curves they 
intersect with each other this point at the center both of these they intersect with each other and let us say that due to the due to the first type of well if the drawdown curve is this much and due to the second image well the drawdown curve is again the same amount so when both of these quantities get added together the total uh, the the total draw so the total drawdown at this particular point will be the summation of the drawdown which is due to the indivisible well so if we just try to add the drawdown of these individual wells then we will have the final drawdown which is in which is indicated by this dotted uh, by this dark line similarly in in case of the if in case of this uh, impermeable surface if we are having certain source of water as in this case we are having a perennial source of water in this case so that may also act as our physical barrier and that will also influence the formation of these types of drawdown curves so in this case the formation of this image will will be quite different so let's see uh, what will be the difference in this case so let's consider this to be our first image uh, first uh, discharging well okay and uh, that dotted line is in that it that dotted line is indicating that is our the drawdown curve fine but due to the presence of this uh, any perennial source of the water over here we can uh, that is just restricting the natural drawdown curve of this uh, discharging well so this at a distance of x1 we can have a image well at this particular point but since this uh, is a perennial source of water so instead of discharging that will be pumping the water or that will be having a recharging nature so that's why its sign will be in a downward direction and if we try to draw its uh, drawdown curve so in this case it's not called as a drawdown curve but it will be called it's known as the impression curve so that impression curve will be drawn in an opposite direction and it will be having an impression curve over here okay that will having an impression curve over here and when both of these impression curves meet uh, at a certain point so let's say at this particular point so due to this uh, discharging well it will have a negative value and due to this recharging well it is it is going to have a positive value and when we add due to the uh, principle of superposition then at that particular point it is it is going to have this uh, level of the water over here and that will be the drawdown curve at that particular point so in this case if there is a physical barrier in terms of the perennial source of water or any river lake so in this can in this case we can have this type of uh, uh, drawdown curve over here so that is again is an example of an image well so we can also look into some uh, different figures so let me show you all okay so as you can see here that uh, in this case uh, we are having a physical barrier as a means of the permeable surface fine so if uh, there is uh, obviously that impermeable surface is restricting the natural drawdown curve of this particular discharging well so we can so we are actually not sure what would be the actual curve of this drawdown curve over here so we can have that actual drawdown curve if we imagine a well that has been drawn at a distance of x from this impermeable surface like this as it is shown over here so again that that these dotted lines are showing the drawdown curve of this it's uh, it's a uh, drawdown curve of these uh, recharge discharging wells and when we try to add these uh, drawdown curves at a certain position as you can see here if we try to add uh, these at this particular position then the net now the net drawdown curve that is going to be formed over here is slightly lower because both are negative value so the final drawdown curve that we are going to have is like this that is being shown in a blue color so by this way uh, we can have so that is the basic concept behind the image well okay so let me show you one more figure 
okay the same concept is being shown over here that is regarding the image well so as you can again see here that we are having a uh, two types of two types of physical barrier over here it could be either in the form of the impermeable surface or it could be in the form of any aquifer that may or any perennial source of water that may be uh, beside uh, that may be uh, beside this uh, any type of discharging well okay so we can again as you can see here that these are the rod on curves that has been drawn over here okay so this again follows the principle of superposition and by this way we can just add the drawdown curve of these individual wells and then we can have finally the drawdown curves of these types of wells and below of it as you can see here that the first well on the left hand side this one that will act as your discharging real well and on the right hand side of this impermeable surface we are having a discharging image well but in the case of the uh, if there is any presence of any perennial source of the water then that will act as your recharging image well but on the left hand side since we are taking out the water so it will act as a discharging real well and when we finally add the drawdown curve and impression curve of both of these then we finally obtain these types of image well so that's the concept behind the image well i hope you have learned through this lesson Thank you for watching.